our, our team is the negative constructive. We disagree with the affirmative that says Texas should refund Planned Parenthood. Uh, their first contention is that defunding Planned Parenthood is not decreasing abortion rates in Texas. Our first point is that people, uh, is that um, the uh, source that they give is an economics professor, which might be more impersonal than, say, if they'd gotten a health expert to uh, provide evidence. Our second point is that abortion rates are lowering after defunding Planned Parenthood. This comes from Scott Arbiter, president of World Relief in the New York Times, February 7, 2017. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention reports the abortion rates in the U.S. have been falling steadily. The Gutter Matcher Institute reported last month that the rate of abortions per 1,000 women has fallen to the lowest rate since Roe v. Wade was decided in 1973. This is significant because it means that after defunding pa Planned Parenthood, it's the lowest they have been in 44 years. Uh, it's not increasing abortion, back alley abortions, it's decreasing abortions. Their second contention is that defunding Planned Parenthood causes harm in some states, such as back alley abortions and teen pregnancies. Our first point is, just, is that just because this happened in some states does not mean it will happen everywhere. It doesn't mean that it will happen in Texas. It's, a bad evidence, it's bad evidence because it's a bad comparison. Uh, our second point is that there's an alternative to Planned Parenthood already in place in Texas. It's called the Texas Health, uh, Healthy Women Program. This comes from the Texas Health and Human Service Resources Government Branch, Healthy Texas Women, July 1st, 2016. More women can now get free or affordable health care services statewide. The Healthy Texas Women Program offers comprehensive health care, including birth control, pregnancy tests and counseling, and health screenings and treatment for hypertension, diabetes, and cholesterol. The Family Planning Program will now offer more services, including limited prenatal care. Uh, women are being covered in Texas without Planned Parenthood. It, there's already a basis for replacing Texas, replacing Planned Parenthood in Texas so more states can follow their guidelines once it's defunded in their states. Uh, their third contingent is that they need Planned Parenthood to reduce abortion and provide more health care for women. First of all, uh, our first point is that the, their evidence comes from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is in Texas. Uh, uh, they need evidence from a Texas um, source to uh, be relevant. Our second point is that Planned Parenthood provides the most abortions. This comes from Christine Hawkins, opinion contributor, The Hill, March 21st, 2017. From 2014 to 2015, their cancer screenings and preventative services dropped to an astounding 27% while government funding increased. While non-abortion health services have decreased, abortion at Planned Parenthood has risen 12% between 2006 and 2014. Our opponents say that Planned Parenthood is supposed to be used for all health care needs for women, not just for abortions. Uh, they're supposed to come there for birth control, uh, cancer screenings, STD screenings, but as these statistics prove, their health care has been dropping while numbers of abortions increased. Planned Parenthood has been focusing on abortions and not the needs of the, the women who come there for something other than that. Uh, if Planned Parenthood, one of the largest abortion giving associations in the United States, 327,653 in 2013, according to Planned Parenthood's last annual report, cannot support women's regular health care, why trust them to support women who are looking for an abortion? Uh, I please vote negative. I now stand open for cross examination. <coughs> Emma, can you please show me the evidence that the government funding that is, go that is going directly to these abortion services? I cannot. Really, and then you talk about how we shouldn't morally support, um, how we shouldn't support paying taxes when in something we don't support, but don't we pay taxes for going to war and, um, you know, police, like, isn't it the same thing? Like, if we don't like police, should we not pay taxes for those things either? I didn't talk about paying taxes. Oh. And then um, you said that abortion rates are low anyway. Do you have evidence that suggests that the reason why we have um, these abortion laws are connected to those? My evidence from Scott Arbiter came in uh, this year after we defunded Planned Parenthood. Really? Be oh. 
And then um, you also said that uh, the alternatives are Texas women health programs. Um, but why is it that 30,000 fewer women are receiving health programs if this is an alternative? Why are these women being left out of that? They must not have signed up. I didn't hear that answer. They must not have signed up. And no further questions. Okay. So at this point, Lexi, 